Hey everybody, good morning. It's coffee time. It's Dave here, holiday for two, and I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you have a great week ahead. Hmm. Today's video is titled, My Top 5 Must-See Campgrounds in Arizona. This is a video on campgrounds. If you're looking for places to stay, campgrounds that you can stay for free, be sure to check out my video that I did a few weeks ago on how to find free or cheap camping in Arizona. I had a list of criteria that I used to select these and it was really hard because there are so many campgrounds in Arizona that are great campgrounds, but I wanted to have some qualities that made these campgrounds stand out. These are some of the features that I used to make my decision for this top five list. Number one is all of these campsites that I'm gonna tell you about today can be reserved ahead of time. All of these campgrounds have ease of access. There are facilities available at all of these campgrounds. By facilities, I mean dump stations, water, restrooms, showers, sometimes hot showers that you can take. Sometimes you can get them for free at the campground. Sometimes you have to pay for the showers. And in some cases, these campgrounds also have electric hookups. The fourth quality of these campgrounds is that there are discounts available, and I'll be sure to tell you about them. Five, location, location, location. These are all campgrounds that are located near anemones or features in Arizona that you'll probably want to go see. So before I get started on this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified when I put out more videos like this in the future. Also, if I think of something later that I didn't add into the video, I will add it in the description below. And finally, if you think of a campground that I missed on this list, put it down in the comments section below. I would love to hear what campgrounds in Arizona you think should be on this list because I'll do another video later on. So let's get started. The top five must-see campgrounds to visit if you're coming to Arizona. Someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. All right, none of these are going to be in any particular order, but I'm going to go ahead and start. So let's start with number five. Number five is Pine Grove Campground. Now, Pine Grove Campground is a lovely little campground that's up near Flagstaff, Arizona, between Flagstaff and Mormon Lake on Highway 3 or Lake Mary Highway. And I picked this campground because of a couple features. First, its location. It is close to Flagstaff. There are stores that you can travel to within 20, 25 minutes drive. Uh, fishing is close by within a few minutes drive of Pine Grove Campground. You can go to Lake Mary and drop your line in the lake and fish. You can also, if you have a little boat that you're pulling or a little uh, small fishing boat you want to put in a lake, you can drop it in the lake of Lake Mary and fish on the lake that way as well. Uh, you can also, it's not too far to Ashurst Lake, which is close by. And some of these places I've already featured in videos, so I'll put little cards in the video for you so you can find my video on like Asher Slate. Here are the features that make Pine Grove one of my must-see campgrounds. Pine Grove Campground has about 46 sites available. 24 of those are reservable. 22 of those are what are called first come, first serve campsites. There's also 16 campsites that are handicap access, what they call ADA access available. There's a 14 day stay limit. Fees for the campground at Pine Grove run $30 a night. If you have the interagency pass or what they call the America the Beautiful Pass, and I'll tell you more about that later in another video. But if you have the America the Beautiful Pass, you can get it at half price discount. So it'd be $15 with the pass. Showers are available for a fee. There's a dump station. There's also a place to fill up your water tank. No electricity at Pine Grove. But it is a beautiful little campground. It's a, pla a nice place to go. Pine Grove is a nice place to go if you want a little peace, relaxation. You want to be in the cool pines, especially in the summertime in Arizona. 
you might have a few days where it gets up into the high 80s, mid 80s, high 80s, uh, but it always cools down at night. So it's a great little campground. Check it out, Pine Grove Campground. Number four, Rainbow Campground or Apache Trout Campground. And both of these campgrounds are at Big Lake. Now, Big Lake, Arizona, I put this one on the list because this is a great place to go. And if you're traveling through Arizona and it happens to be a very hot summer, these are some of the places that you can go to escape the heat. Big Lake uh, is about 8,900 feet at the Big Lake. And it's a good bet that if you go there in the summertime, it will be cool. It, you may have a few warmish days where it might get 82, 83, but it always cools down as soon as the sun drops down. Rainbow Campground has 152 campsites. There's a 32 foot limit at Rainbow Campground. 22 of these campsites are what are called first come, first serve. So Rainbow Campground doesn't have electricity. Apache Trout Campground does have electricity. There are 124 sites at Apache Trout Campground with power, some without power. If you get a site with power, it's $46. If you get a site with no power, it's 30. The discount on that, if you use your America the Beautiful Pass, you can use the, uh, the discount pass and get them half price at $15 a night, 23 a night for the electrical hookup sites. There are showers with a fee. 41 of those campsites at Apache Trout have AC hookups. 24 are ADA sites. As far as location, location, you're at Big Lake. You're at 8,900 feet. It's going to be cool there in the summertime. It's a beautiful little place. If you've never been to Big Lake, Arizona, it's one of those places that you should travel to and make it a point to, to come through there. But if you come through Alpine and Springerville, it's right on the way from Springerville uh, through to like Payson on that highway right there. And it's close to the little town called Greer. So if you look on the map, I'll be sure to put links in the description below and maps in this video to kind of show you where a big lake is at. If you're new to Arizona, it might be kind of a tough place to, to find right away, but it's beautiful. Uh, definitely a location, 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 you must see. Uh, great things to do in the area, lots of hiking, great place to go fishing, uh, There's you can put a boat in the lake, uh, you can fish from the shoreline if you want. There's even a little store there at Big Lake where you can get some groceries that you might have missed on the way. If you're coming to Big Lake, check out my video on Big Lake because I give a lot more information on that about getting gas and how to get the best places to get gas. So I'll put a link in, up in the corner here where you can click on for Big Lake. Number three. This one was a tough choice to put at number three, and that's Mather Campground near the Grand Canyon. Now remember I said location, location, location. Mather Campground is one of the few campgrounds that is right at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. There are 327 sites available. Many of these are just pull-through sites. There is no electric, no AC hookup at Mather. Uh, there are also tent only sites so if you just want a site for a tent you can check on those and i will put a link below for the how to reserve these sites mather campground i believe the limit is 30 31 foot rvs years ago i had a uh, 27 foot bounder a 1988 bounder that my wife and i had years ago we took our boys camping in it all the time and I know we stayed at Mather Campground in this 27 foot class A that we had. And we had plenty of room. So it does have some long sites, but if you're a, like a big motorhome, uh, longer than 30 feet, there is another campground available and that is a Trailer Village RV Park, which is real close to the South Rim there and close to Mather. It's a little bit more pricey. So just be aware of that. I believe I checked on the website last time i checked it was between 80 and 85 a night with electrical hookups but it is a very nice uh, rv park that you can pull in if you have a very large rv like 30 to 50 feet i think they also have 50 amp hookups there that's one of the nice things about it is that you are close to all the 
activities of the South Rim. You can go to, they have a shuttle system. Uh, the South Rim of the Grand Canyon, that whole area right there, there's a shuttle bus that takes you around everywhere you want to go. Uh, you can get on the shuttle bus and go to the store, to the lodge, and go look at the rim. You can go hike up and down the rim. There's hiking, biking, um, lots of things uh, to do in that area. So some of these sites that I'm listing here in this video, you're going to want to probably spend more than just one or two nights. <clears throat> so definitely consider that if you're coming to Arizona from out of state and you've never been to the Grand Canyon before, Mather Campground, a definite must see. Number two, Usury Park Campground is located east of Phoenix near Mesa and just north of Apache Junction. And I picked Usury Park because you are so close to lots of things in the area to do. Usury Park has 73 sites that will accommodate up to 45 foot RVs. They run $32 a night with electric hookups. They also have showers available, hot showers, flush toilets, and like I said, electricity oh, and water, of course, too. Usury Park Campground is part of the Maricopa County Park System. Maricopa County Park Systems has six areas that have campgrounds available. Usury Park is one of them, and I know that we've been to a couple other ones and featured them on the channel, like Lake Pleasant uh, Campground, Desert Tortoise Campground, Lake Pleasant. I've done a couple videos on Lake Pleasant as well as white tanks. So check those out on my video if you're interested in some of those other places. But Usury Park Campground, lots of activities. Plan on spending a couple days there. $32 a night with hookup. And finally, number one, Gilbert Ray Campground. Gilbert Ray Campground is located near Tucson, Arizona. And if you're coming to Arizona from out of state, or if you've lived in Arizona and you've never been down this area before near Tucson, check out Gilbert Ray Campground. Gilbert Ray Campground is part of the Pima County Parks and Recreation System. It, is, it has 130 campsites available with 30 amps. Every, there are some tent sites available. They have a few sites that are available just for tents. Lots of hiking in the area. I'll get to some of the uh, amenities in just a minute. Uh, 50 amp is available for $35 a night, but the 30 amp sites are $20 a night for RVs. $10 a night if you're in a tent. And all these sites have hookups. And did I say location, location, location? Gilbert Ray Campground has is placed in one of the best areas i think if you're coming from out of state this is a really must see that's why i put this number one there are lots of things in the area to go see there's old tucson the old film studio where they film some of the classic western movies uh like uh, tombstone for example was filmed in old tucson or the tv show uh high chaparral i'm dating myself there but the high chaparral was filmed uh, on uh, parts of it were filmed on location there at old Tucson Film Studios. And other things in Tucson, and I'll be sure to put some of these with a little map in the video for you. Also, if you're in the Tucson area and you're staying at Gilbert Ray, go check out Colossal Cave. It's on the east side of Tucson. There is a seven day stay limit at Gilbert Ray Campground, so be aware of that. And like I told you earlier, all of these places all of these campgrounds can be reserved online. And I'll put the, uh, links in the description be below to show you how to get to the websites for these campgrounds. If I missed any campgrounds that you think I should include in another video, please put it down in the comments section below. Say, hey Dave, you missed one. You missed Campground X. That's our favorite campground. That's funny because there is a campground called Tenex Campground. I just thought of that up near the Grand Canyon. It's a great campground too. But there are lots of campgrounds that I didn't include in this video. And if I'd like to know which ones maybe you think I should put in the video next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you find this useful. Start planning your vacations now because these campsites can all be reserved. And some of these places you want to reserve ahead of time. Now when this video drops, 
on the channel it's probably going to be november sometime when this when i put this on the channel which means if you're coming to tucson in april or may and you're planning a trip out in april march april or may then you're going to want to start reserving these sites now uh, the ones that are in the mountains like pine grove and mather are ones that you're going to want to start those campgrounds you are going to want to start reserving now for the next summer here rainbow pine grove and mather those three you're going to want to start reserving now for next summer uh usury park and gilbert ray campground you can actually if you're planning a trip this winter like in january or december january or february you may still be able to get a campsite at gilbert ray believe it or not it's kind of one of those places that is sort of flies under the radar a lot of people don't know about it but it's a really lovely little campground lots of things to see in the area uh, usury park not so much uh, usury park fills up pretty fast this time of year and a lot of people come from back east and they they start reserving their sites well ahead of time so usury park maybe if you're coming out in march or april you might be able to get a spot at usury park campground but definitely plan it for the next year when you come out. So this is Dave saying have a great day. Safe travels, everybody. And if I miss something, I'll put it in the description below. Any information I put, think of afterwards. Because sometimes when I'm doing the videos, I might forget information that I should have included in the video. Uh, most of these have great cell service. Let me quickly go through the ones that have uh, good cell service. Usury Park. Um, Gilbert Ray great cell service Mather campground I'm not positive about it's been a few years since I went there uh, Pine Grove yeah it's sketchy Rainbow definitely is a no-no it has uh, Rainbow and a Apache trout anything near a big lake there is one little rock you can stand on near the store if you stand on that rock and hold your phone up in the air you might be able to get a signal and I know that sounds like a joke but it's true <laughs> <laughs> there's one little rock and they mark it on the rock stand here if you want great self-service uh, and that's at Big Lake so Big Lake don't go there if you're expecting to talk on your phone a lot um, go there for peace and quiet and relaxation have a great day safe travels everybody catch you later